so hey guys welcome to the tiana blanco channel and it has been a while since i you know uploaded a video on youtube so today is a you know what the fuck, what, what the fuck is going on in tiana life you know i don't know <laughs> follow me on social media then you already know what this is about but if you don't follow me on social media and only keep up with my youtube then you wouldn't know you 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 wouldn't you wouldn't have any idea of what's going on in my life stay tuned i'm revealing to the world that i am having a baby so yes i am pregnant So yes, homegirl is pregnant. Don't ask me how. I don't know how I got here, but I am. And I am just super excited, super blessed, and like just super happy. I've been in like a happy, happy space. So, <laughs> okay, so just now that we got that over with, I can't find my snacks anymore. I'm giving y'all the real me and what I do during my pregnancy because all I do for right now is eat, eat, eat. And I eat a bunch of snacks, a bunch of food, a bunch of smoothies. I drink, um, I, I just do a lot. Like I do a lot times 10 because before I was greedy, but now I am like real greedy, okay? Like needing two plates. Um, but I just wanna start off by saying, let me show y'all, let me show y'all my baby first. Wait, is it upside down? Okay. On November 27th, so I probably was about 10, nine to 10 weeks. I'm gonna start off by saying when I found out I was pregnant and I kept my pregnancy test because this has changed my life forever. Seeing, seeing these two negative signs have changed my life forever. So this will forever be with me, um, God willing. I place it on my Bible along with a sonogram. And, you know, that's just my prayers. So, so on November 4th, um, I was trying to be sneaky. I think November 4th. Okay, on November 4th, me and my boyfriend, we was out for the day. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, where the fuck is my period? Where the fuck is she at? And bitch wasn't there. So I'm thinking to myself, I stopped at the, the <laughs> my little cheap ass. I stopped at the dollar store and because I had to get cleaning supplies. So I wound up picking up two pregnancy tests. So I made sure the lady hid it under all the other groceries that I had. Okay. So now when we get in out the car, which he usually don't fucking do, he decides to pick up the bags. Hmm. Figures. So when he picks up the bag, of course, the fucking pregnancy test is the first thing that pops up through the bag. So he's like, why you got a pregnancy test? I'm like, <laughs> look, let me tell you how my face was. I'm not pregnant. I just. I just really need it because I just wanted to take it just to be on the safe side, but I'm not pregnant. Ditto, I felt so fucking stupid and embarrassed. So long story short, I go pee on the stick and then I bring it to him. I didn't look at it because I was, in my mind, I knew I wasn't pregnant, but I just wanted to be like, okay, period is on its way. So he's sitting down. I give him the pregnancy test. I'm just lounging around waiting for him to say, you know, like, oh, no, you're not pregnant. And he's playing around. He's doing this. He's like, so how many lines? How many lines you said? I'm like, nigga, you know how many. Give me. If it's two lines, I'm pregnant. If it's one line, I'm not pregnant. And it should be one line. So he just kept looking at like, Yo, what? So I'm thinking his ass playing. I snatch it out of his hand. And I look and I'm like, oh. 
and then I just started crying. <laughs> I started crying on him. I, I just leaned on him, just kept crying, crying, crying. It was, it could have been tears of joy. It was overwhelming. And it was like, what the fuck? So that's how it happened. And then now I'm just going to move along. First trimester. Oh, the worst trimester. Well, I don't want to say the worst because I haven't gone through the third trimester as of yet. But so far, the first trimester, from the moment I found out, I found out. I probably, when I first found out, I was about maybe four to, I was about, when I found out, I was six weeks, right? So when I found out, I was about five to six weeks. And from week seven, it was around Thanksgiving time. So between week seven to week 16, those weeks were like, Oh my God, the, some of the worst things that could possibly have gone wrong or all the symptoms that they say you'll have when you're pregnant, I had every symptom. And all I could do is keep looking at the weeks and counting down like, okay, it says by week 12, this shit is gonna stop. And nope, week 12 came, it did not stop. Week 13 came, week 14, 15, 16, and then... So I just wanna say, um... I have it written down in my phone. Of the, I had morning sickness, which is AKA all day sickness. I was sick all day long. I could not eat. I could not even, I didn't want to smell any type of food. Um, and as everybody know on my social media, I like to cook. I couldn't cook. I couldn't even open up the freezer and look at the, um, and look at the meats because if I did, I'll throw up. And it was just so freaking hard because it's like you want to eat, but you can't eat. It's either between being nauseous or vomiting. Um, I had nosebleeds. Um, I had, I was dizzy if I took a shower and I'm in it for too long or it's steamy. I got very dizzy and then I had to stop and relax and then get out the shower, open up the door and get some air. Um, another thing was, oh my God, it was just like the vomiting was very bad. It was just like you just wanted to lay down and just go to sleep until you could wake up and be like, it's done, it's gone. Things that I probably could have tolerated was a burrito. And that was from Chipotle. That was the only thing and I was still forced myself and psych myself into eating and making it look as if I'm just eating nothing but lettuce and bread. But in reality, I had the lady put chicken on the bottom of the bowl. It was it was ridiculous. Um, what else I couldn't do? I was very tired, so I fall asleep. I couldn't even make wigs. Like this is my life. This is my money. This is my money maker. This is my brand. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do my makeup. I just could not do videos. So it was very hard for me to just sit home and just lay on the couch or lay in the bed and just be miserable and be on the phone with my mother to talk me through it all. And besides Google on my side, like, okay, when is this going to stop? A lot of people said, like, don't worry, this is going to stop by your second trimester. Don't worry. And I'm like two weeks in on my second trimester and I'm still feeling these same exact symptoms plus more now i will tell you week 11 week 11 i just remember um that being my worst week ever and that's because it say you're at your peak um you're at your peak with i think it's a h a h c g level if i'm not if i'm wrong i'm gonna correct it but i know it says you're at your peak so it's basically you're going up the hill you're slowly getting these symptoms and then you're getting it more and more and then once you get to the top level you get every symptom as the weeks go by you slowly slowly start noticing a change so now i am 22 weeks today so i will be doing a second trimester review and telling you guys how I'm doing but I just want to let you know that it does get better and a lot of people just tell you that and you're like when will it get better it hasn't got better just know it does get better and some people it say it doesn't get better but all I can do is say pray and I know what the fuck you going through <laughs> so 
you know if you guys have any questions any just any comments leave them below and i'll be back on the second trimester